Hello and welcome. Sinku asked whether it is possible in Olive to auto remove silence, and uh, they pointed out a feature to me that I haven't even tried out yet. When you right click a video or a clip in the timeline, you can select auto cut silence and you get an attack threshold, an attack time, a release threshold, a release time. Now I'm not sure what these values are. Now attack time, I'm guessing this is how many milliseconds maybe get released. It's probably not seconds. Let's try 100 and uh, 1000. As for threshold, I'm guessing this means what volume track has to reach before it actually gets checked as noise or non-silence. Is this in dB? Is this in percentage? I'm gonna go for, I don't know, let's just keep it at 5 and 2. I'm also not sure why these values are different. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, so we get a cut here and no cut here anymore. And we get a cut here. That's strange. Let me undo that. Control Z, right click and auto cut silence again. Okay, let's try the defaults. All right, so now we have uh, this cut and this. Yeah, so this works very cleanly. It detects this okay, part. We got hostiles. And then there's silence. Let me just shoot that thing. And then I talk and then there's silence on my track at least. Let me just undo that. And I'm gonna try that again. Okay, attack time. Let's set this to 20 now. Okay, so it cuts here and if we Auto cut attack time to two. It also cuts here. Okay, attack time to 2000. Nothing. Okay, what if we set this to one? It gets way too sensitive over here, I guess. Yeah, I don't know why there are cuts here. All right, very confusing, so I'm gonna go for default values. And now I have to manually delete these, unfortunately, but at least I can ripple delete them. Ripple delete. Let's see, is there a shortcut for ripple delete? Yes, shift delete. So this is actually not that bad. Shift delete, shift delete, shift delete, shift delete, shift delete, shift delete, and we're done. Because the alternative would have been, and that's what I did the first time around when I tried this, I moved whoop, this up, come on, this up, this up, and then I would select these and do that, and then I would delete the silences. Uh, ripple delete, empty space. No, no. Yeah, this is horrible. So. Ripple delete empty space, ripple delete empty space. So I think I might actually have helped with the shift delete cut key, assuming that Sinku didn't know this yet. So this speeds it up. Okay, let's take a look at the result. Okay, we got hostiles. We just shoot that thing. That's not what I was hoping for. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. Okay, good enough for me. Just gonna unlink these and uh, I guess set a volume minus six for these and set a volume. Let's see. Yeah, plus six for yeah, plus six for these. Okay, we got hostiles. Let me just shoot that thing. Oops, that's not what I was hoping for. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hope this is useful. This is a cool feature. And did I notice already that you can multi-edit effects when they have the same effects on multiple clips at the same time? This is awesome. Hope to see you in the next video. Subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. I will see you next time. I hope. Until then, ciao.